Jo, hospitality coordinator here at Highland Camper Vans, and I'm here to give you all the information on the Car Suite Motorhome. In your door pocket, you have your motorhome guide with all the information about your motorhome and traveling the Highlands, including a telephone number of how to get in contact with us should you have an issue. Along with that, you have your road atlas, you also have the rough guide. The Camping and Caravan in Club book and we are part of the Privilege Scheme so you get discounted rates if you stay at one of those sites and also the Captain's Log and this is where you log all of your interesting facts from your trip for other visitors to read. Everything is checked prior to your hire but should you need to get under the bonnet at all the bonnet catch is just here and you pull it and it will lift the bonnet. Of a night time you can close out the light and keep in the heat with your blinds at the front and you also have them across your windscreen. The fuel hatch for your vehicle is just behind the passenger door. You need your uh, large key, ignition key for the lock. Your van will come uh, full of fuel and you just need to return it full of fuel. This hatch is on the passenger side of your vehicle. You'll need the small key on your keys to open the hatch. Inside here you have the point to fill your fresh water, the point to empty your wastewater, and also the point where you hook up to electric at a campsite and we'll explain all of this in much more detail at your handover. Once you've had the argument as to whose job it is to empty the toilet you will find the emptying hatch at the back of the passenger side of the vehicle. You'll need your small key for the, the lock. Inside you'll see the toilet cassette just lift up the green latch and pull the cassette towards you. It's really important at this point that you make sure that your toilet hatch inside is closed. I'll explain a little bit more about that later. So if you lift up the hatch and pull the cassette towards you. For emptying, you just open up the pipe, unscrew the end and empty it into the disposal unit at a campsite. Once you've uh, emptied everything out, the little green latch just here, you open up and pull this back. Make sure you give it a really good clean around um, and, and flush it all out and make sure it's all empty. And then you put your toilet chemical back in it and you're good to go. It's really quite easy. At the back of the vehicle you have a large garage area and inside it contains uh, lots of useful equipment, so your hookup lead, your levelling ramps, you also have your gas compartment in here as well. Now we will explain in full detail how the gas system works on your handover. Things to be aware of when you're driving the motorhome, obviously the biggest thing is your size, um, making sure that you're aware of your width and the fact that you have rather large ring mirrors. These things unfortunately are quite costly and you don't want a bill for one of these to ruin your holiday memories. Also that the ground clearance really isn't very high so you need to be really careful of rocks and curbs um, and another thing at the, unfortunately at the moment is the potholes on the road so you need to just be really careful uh, with your, your surroundings. One last thing that's slightly different to a normal car is that your handbrake is on the right hand side. This is because your driver's chair swivels around. But other than that, everything else is pretty easy. Your front driving seat swivel around for your dining area when you're stationary. I'll show you how to do that when you arrive. This is the cab area. You have sat nav, reversing camera, it's a six speed manual transmission. You also have USB and 12 volt charging points. It's very much like a normal car cab area. These are your main control panels for the vehicle. This is for your heating and hot water and this is for your main lighting and leisure battery and uh, finding out about your waste and, and fresh water. We'll go through these in, in much more detail on your handover. Your bathroom is at the back of the vehicle. In this one you have a separate shower cubicle with hot and cold running water, your toilet with toilet cassette and sink. Your kitchen is fully equipped with everything you need for your hire, all of your cutlery, crockery, cooking utensils and cleaning equipment. Um, you have your three burner hob 
for all of your camper van culinary delights. Sink with hot and cold running water and also a large fridge which I'll show you now. You have a large fridge and a freezer compartment as well. It is only a small freezer compartment. Your fridge can be powered from electric, gas and also leisure battery when you're driving and we'll go through this in a lot more detail on your handover. We hope that introduction has helped answer some questions about the maintenance and running of and um, facilities of the motorhome. Um, if you've got any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call or send us an email prior to your hire and we'll be more than happy to help. And we look forward to meeting you and getting you on your way on your Highland Campervans holiday.